Hi everyone, this is Joy for Honeybee Stamps. I have made a super fun 5x7 Father's Day card using the Apron A2 and the Apron Barbecue add-on dies. So here is the Apron A2 card die. And so you've got an inner piece, an outer piece. You've got your little pocket there. And then that little curvy piece is the, sh is the neck piece for your apron. Now, I'm not gonna use that smaller piece. I thought I was going to, but I actually ended up not. So I'm just gonna focus on this larger piece and I'm gonna do some ink blending. And I am using some Distress Oxide inks. I will be using Salty Ocean, Blueprint Sketch, Chipped Sapphire, and I'll be using a little bit of Black Soot. So I'm just starting in the center with my lightest color, which is Salty Ocean. Then I'm gonna come in with the Blueprint Sketch and kind of work my way out. I want to get a good blend between those two. Then I'm going to use the chipped sapphire. On this background piece, I'm actually not using the black soot. I will be using that on the little pocket piece. I just grabbed a paper towel so I don't keep putting my fingerprints in that wet ink. But now that that's all blended, you've got this really pretty background. Here is this pocket piece, and I actually started with blueprint sketch i'm coming in with chipped sapphire and then this i will use the black soot around the edges and i'm just using some blender brushes to get a really nice good blend on this and then i came back in and i did add a little bit of the salty ocean to the center i'm just using black soot for the strap of the apron card now i have a piece of white cardstock actually it's a white card base five by seven card base and i'm coming in starting with the crackling campfire and i'm using the salvaged bricks background stencil and i'm making it dark in some areas and lighter in other areas then i'm going to come in with the fired brick and just kind of do the same thing i don't want to cover up all of that orange i kind of really like this orangey red brick i'm going to move my stencil down it doesn't really I couldn't really figure out how to line it up, so I just did it as best as I could. And it leaves a little a little lighter spot, but I actually don't mind because this brick is meant to look a little aged anyways. I'm using the fired brick around the edges. I'm actually going to come in a little bit later and add some black soot to it just to kind of tone down how red that is. So now that that is all done, I'm going to clean up. And here is the apron barbecue add-on. This has such cute pieces in it. So I have die cut my pieces from silver cardstock. The tongs, the barbecue tongs there, I've also die cut from white cardstock. The rest of the pieces I have die cut from white cardstock. There's the handles, there is the little lids, or the little lids for like the beer bottle, the barbecue sauce bottle, that's from silver cardstock. And I'm going to glue the, some of these pieces together and then we're gonna do some Copic coloring. So for the barbecue tongs, I die cut those from white and silver. I'm trimmed out the little handle pieces from the white cardstock and I'm gonna glue that to my silver piece as you can see here. I'm just using some liquid glue and holding that with some tweezers and just adding those little white handles in place. Then you have these little white handle die cuts. I'm gonna add that to my little prongy fork thing and uh, my spatula. You can do this in any color, a wood color, black, red, anything would be really cute. This would, looks more like a beer bottle and I'm gonna add the little silver cap to that. And then I just think of this as like the barbecue sauce bottle and I'm adding the silver cap to that. Now I have die cut a bunch of the cute little sausages and I'm gonna color those with some Copic markers. I'm using E55, 35, 29, 49, 57, and 59. That's gonna be all the browns that I'm using. And I laid down my light color, added a darker at the bottom, and the middle color at the bottom. Then I'm gonna come in with these really dark colors and add some grill marks. I'm gonna come back with a lighter color, go over the same grill marks, another lighter color and go over, and then the lightest color and just do a slight blending. And that to me looks perfect. I'm going to color the mustard bottle, and this is with Y0206 and 19, laying again down the light color. I'm not being super neat about it, but I, I want some darker edges and lighter on the inside. This turned out really, really cute. I'm gonna do the same thing with the ketchup bottle as well. And I'm using R35, 37, and 39, just adding the darker around the edges, blending it out. 
and I'm gonna add some more detail once I get all of these bottles colored. I'm gonna come in with a white gel pen and a black micro pen to add some really fun details. This is the beer bottle and I'm using E55, 57 and 59 I believe on this. Doing the same type of thing, although I did want this to be on the lighter side because it's a light beer. And then I'm gonna come in with the barbecue sauce bottle and I'm going to make this really, really dark. So I am using E59, 29 and 49 to make this super, super dark. And now that that's done, let's go ahead and add the details. Here is my micro black pen. So I wrote out the word beer. I'm gonna add some dots and dashes with my white gel pen and some more lines just to make the labels on these cute little bottles. Adding my white highlights like I always do. I thought I would just do that now. Usually I do that at the end of my card making, but now's the perfect time since I'm already adding a bunch of details. I added the barbecue sauce to this with a cute little label. If you have any tiny circle dies or square dies, you could die cut things out and just adhere that to these bottles and that would be cute as well. I'm coming in and just adding a K and an M, adding some a black circle, some white dashes, again, adding some highlights, keeping it really simple, but they turned out really, really cute. Now here is the pocket and I'm gonna fold it on the score lines. You have one on the bottom and then one on each side and I'm just using a bone folder to get a nice sharp crease with that. And that's going to go on the bottom part of the apron and hold all the fun tools. Now the sentiment from Kiss the Cook stamp set, I'm going to stamp that onto that little pocket. The whole stamp set says, Dad, you're the best. But I'm not going to use the word Dad. So I'm going to mask that off with some tape. I'm going to prep my uh, cardstock with an anti-static powder tool. I'm going to ink up my stamp with Versamark ink, remove my mask, stamp it down on my image, and then I'm going to come in with some white heat embossing, or excuse me, some white embossing powder, and then I'm going to heat that through until it's melted. Now, make sure that your inked background, because remember we inked this up, is nice and dry before you try to apply embossing powder. Now I'm going to add the little neck piece for the apron. I'm going to slide it into those two little holes. And we're gonna glue down this cute little pocket. I'm gonna use my bone folder to fold that down again. I'm using some liquid glue. You also could use some score tape or something like that, something really strong, so that way this does not fall off. So I'm gonna center that in kind of towards the bottom and just hold that in place until the glue dries, which is really super fast. Now on this background, like I said before, I decided I needed to add a little bit of the black soot and I'm not doing a ton, but I'm gonna add that around the edges and it really changes the look of this background. I love how it turned out. I think this is so such a guy background being this is perfect for a Father's Day card. So I'm just gonna add that around the edges and call that background good. So I have used the tailgate alphabet and die cut out the word dad and I have die cut for each letter three times from white cardstock and I'm gonna glue those pieces together. I want those to have some dimension. You also could use some fun foam and stick it to die cut out these words to give dimension, but this is just really fast. I actually like doing it. There's something kind of therapeutic about gluing all of the letters together. So I'm gonna glue those together and we're going to add that to the top part of our apron. I'm gonna start with the A and just kind of center that at the top. I'm just eyeballing it. You could definitely take out your ruler and measure this. I'm really not a measurer unless I absolutely have to. So I'm just using some liquid glue and just adhering that down. Now I wanted to add a little bit of detail to the apron itself. So I'm coming in again with my white gel pen. I'm gonna add some stitching lines to the apron. I'm adding it to the pocket on the sides and the bottom, and then I'm going to go all the way around the apron to add some stitching lines. So I'm just taking my white gel pen, adding little dashes with a little space in between, and then you've got this really cute stitching line. Red, if you had a red pen, that would be super cute too. So now on one of my little hot dogs here, I'm going to use my X-Acto knife and cut two holes because I want to put that two pronged fork through. You also could cut the tips off of the fork and just glue them on top and glue the fork behind to give the illusion that it's stabbing it, but I apparently do things the hard way. So I'm going to stick that through. I just use my X-Acto knife to kind of make a little bit of room once I cut the slits in it. I'm going to go through the back and now we've got this cute little hot dog on the two pronged fork. Now I've laid everything out, added foam tape behind the pieces that I want. Some of them have foam tape, some of them I'm just gonna use the liquid glue and I'm gonna start 
adhering all of these pieces inside of the pocket and it is turning out so cute. I like the colors with this. The blue is such a guy thing and then you kind of have that pop of red and yellow which is really a lot of fun. So I'm gonna adhere all of those in. And then the rest of those little hot dog sausage things, I mean they could be both, I'm going to make it look like actually it's sausage links and that they are all hooked together and, and hanging out of the apron pocket. So I'm gonna glue the first ones on here and I'll glue that final one on once I have this apron adhered to the background. I did not wanna cover up my sentiment so I just kinda of made it flow around the sentiment there. I'm going to adhere this down kind of on a fun angle which I think is really cute on this great uh, brick background. I think it just makes this blue apron pop. I will add some foam tape behind that final little sausage because the rest of it's kind of popped up and it just makes sense to have some foam tape behind that. I did decide to come in with my gel pen and add some of those stitching lines around the word dad because I felt like it was getting a little bit lost and I think it turned out really super cute. So inside of the letters and outside of the letters, I added the stitching lines. I also decided to add some stitching lines to the neck piece of the apron. And I'm glad I did because it was looking a little bit plain. I also added some highlights to the sausages, but I didn't need to add it to anything else because I'd already done that when I was um, coloring and adding the details to the bottles. So look at how cute that is. A really fun Father's Day card. This would be a great birthday card. Uh, it's absolutely perfect for your husband, for your brother, for your grandpa, for your dad. Super, super, super cute. I wanna thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this project and I hope that it inspires you to create something wonderful. And I will see you guys soon, bye.